All right, Engineer Ajiboye, I'm sure you followed that report from Meduguri. Um, that is just one out of many we've had. Um, we've had. Um, but good news, you know, power has been restored to some states in, an, in the northern part of the country. So tell us about that aspect. Well, power has been restored to all the states in the northern axis, including Meduguri. Okay. We completed the rehabilitation of tower. 378 and 379 yesterday, and we restore power to Yubi and Meduguri. So they are on the grid now, enjoying the power. It is unfortunate that that happened. We work on that tower, and it was impacted on 28th of September again, after 29 days of restoration. Hmm. So you can see the problem we are solving. Between those periods, just within 29 days, the civil defense and the local vigilante group were able to apprehend and repair two attacks on those vendors before they succeeded on that. So that is one. And the whole state we have been restored supply to. Let me get it clear to people. Though the power might be minimal, not the quantum that used to go there before. But we are working around the clock to be able to restore the light at that level. But the problem we are going to have now is redundancy, which might not be possible immediately because of the impacted Shiro Romando 330 KV line. The area has not been assessed easily by us. It's the security agents that are still working there. And we need to secure, they need to secure it for us to be able to move in with our own team of engineers to rehabilitate and replace those towers and be able to supply. Nevertheless, we are still going to get supply to the place through the other axis of Enugu to Mekodi in the sense that these are provided in such a way that if one is done, the other one should be held. But unfortunately, what happened in the last attack was this. When Chiro Romando went down, we were relying on Ugu Ajimakodi line until they impacted that one on 21st of this month. Mm. We assessed both dimensions and realized that Ugu Ajimakodi is easier for us to manage because it's not active boundary site. They were only coming to attack and go. So we engage our security that have been assisting us, protecting our workmen, and they are working. So hopefully we have restored one of the lines three days ago, which is taking some power to the northern corridor. But in the next few days, we'll be able to bring back the second and restore the complete power to that axis. But we will not be able to have the full confidence of maintaining this power until we're able to put back Shiro Romando, which might take a few days after securing the site for TC engineer to be able to work. So we are very sorry about what happened. It's unfortunate, but it was beyond our scope because managing this national asset depends on the security agent.